Nature is an educational stimulus of rare force. The crumbling cliff, the glacial landscape, the wild free clouds, birds and trees compel children, old and young, to observe and think. They bring development and sympathy, they build the brain, they increase courage and kindness. Scenes and sunsets cloud and storm, the stars in the sky, the music of the wind and water, the purple forests, the white cascades, the colored flowers, the songs of the birds, the untrimmed and steadfast trees, the shadows on the ground, the tangled grass, the round sunny hills, the endless streams, the magic rainbow, and the mysterious echo. All these arouse thought, wonder, and delight in the mind of every child. And they have been the immortal nourishment of the great souls who have come from Mother Nature's loving breast to bless and beautify the world. Enos Mills was one of the early advocates for outdoor and environmental learning. And we continue to be inspired by his work and his writing today. One of the greatest gifts that Enos Mills left us is his vision of nature guides, outdoor enthusiasts, and naturalists inspiring others to explore wild places, protect grand vistas, and conserve America's natural landscapes. Every day, environmental educators embody Enos's vision by sharing their passion for the outdoors with others and ensuring that our profession is one of continued importance and distinction. I think vision is so important for outdoor and environmental learning because it's what drives us at the end of the day. I think if we don't have a clear vision of what we want the field to look like, we can often get stuck. So I think having a vision that excites us and motivates us is what's really important. And so if we carry the vision for the work forward and allow it to inform us as practitioners as well, we won't get stagnant. We won't be like that stream that just doesn't flow and eventually dries up. We will keep ourselves moving. We will keep this field growing. Most people are able to find their own source of inspiration within nature. Nature in and of itself is highly inspiring. What environmental and outdoor learning does is it not only deepens that inspiration by teaching about those unseen connections that you can't find upon first glance, but it also gives us the tools to move from inspiration to impact. I think sharing nature with others demonstrates a character of giving. It really is sharing a piece of yourself in the act of doing it. By engaging in these kind of learning programs, people have a chance to, to fall in love with the wild world, with the natural world around them and within themselves. People have a chance to form authentic relationships and deep connections that are personally meaningful. And from those relationships, I, you know, natural action can arise. To me, that's the essence of environmental and outdoor learning, is that that inspiration is the seed for impact in the world in ways that, to be honest, I don't think we can even imagine. I don't think we've even seen the full potential yet of this, of this field.